complain. I'm not going to complain. We need it. We need it. We need it. Because we need it, right? Yeah, and that's really all you can do in these situations is say uh, the fallback position is always, we need the moisture. Yeah, we so, do. And yeah. we do. Now, the um, nice thing is, as I take a look at where it's coming in, it seems to be arriving in all the places that need it the most. Yeah, that is true. And uh, along with that moisture is some really, really chilly air coming in. So uh, this is going to be mostly snow for just about everybody out of this pattern. Now, as we uh, get into to the next two nights, where this is a real quick mover, uh, we are going to see some really cold temperatures, Glenn. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of areas will be in the teens the next couple of nights. I could see single digits to zero in Laramie. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the Shirley Basin, Laramie, get near or below zero the next two nights. So this is um, really cold air with this front. Okay. So the winter, this, I wrote a little article that uh, Wyoming nights not fooled by nice day <laughs> was the title of the article. <laughs> so, okay. But now let's talk, because I've been talking with the audience this morning about uh, drought conditions across not just the region, but even south of us down in Arizona and so on. Boy, the Colorado River, there's a whole lot of water that people depend on that come from a large area out west. And there's a big swath of drought happening right now. So I, I keep going back and forth between La Nina and El Nino and wondering, do we get a break at some point? Well, you know, the thing is, is the thing you got to remember in the western United States, La Ninas are dry. El Ninos are, are, are more wet, and we are now going into uh, the second year of a La Nina, at least uh, some you know, may not be as strong as it has been, hmm. so the, the, the opportunity... Uh, for the drought to break this spring and summer is just low as long as okay. we continue to see this La Nina. Now, we've seen this before. Yeah. This is a pattern that repeats itself. Um, in the areas that are in the drought right now, in 2019, we started 2019 and there was no drought. There was almost no drought across the United States. But as soon as we went to La Nina, it started to show up again. Um, but we've got to get out of this this La Nina pattern. And so honestly, Glenn, I don't think it's going to be until 2022 before the Western United States starts to see uh, the tables turn on the drought. Okay, so we're going to definitely, I get from what you're saying here, according not what I wanted to hear, just so you know, uh, filing my official complaint. But okay, here we go. So this summer could be what, very dry or just a mild dry one? Would we look at? I'm, I'm thinking yeah. of the ranchers, really. So, so the the way the summer looks like it, it looks like it's going to probably be drier and warmer than normal. Okay. I don't see it as dry as last summer. So okay. I know that's that's not that's yeah. kind of like being the tallest <laughs> yeah. elf, you sure. know. Yeah. So, so, but but I don't think it's going to be as bad as last summer, and we've got to really count on May. Okay. May is our money month. And and May is the wettest month on average in Wyoming. And if we are at least not at average, that does not bode well for summer. Okay. So a lot of summer's dryness is going to hinge on what we get here over the next five weeks. Okay. And so on that note, I'll leave you with this question then. So your crystal ball then, I mean, any, are, are we looking at a wetter May here? Is it, is it going to go well? I don't think so. Okay. Um, now, the thing you got to remember about May is it's supposed to be wet, and we will get wet. Yeah. But, but so that that is what we expect. But we've got to be wetter than normal to to put yeah. a dent in it, and that's what I don't see. I don't see. I see is getting some rain and snow in May, but will it be enough to go above average? And help with the drought? Probably not. Okay. So I just want everybody out there to know the difference between us and Don Day's wife is he doesn't need to tell us what we want to hear <laughs> he's, he's going to tell us what the truth of the matter is and that's why we end up getting hard news okay thank you don i appreciate it switching over to